So, think of the clients that have left you in the last year or two. Do you ever do an exit interview with a client that's left? What do you learn? Mm -hmm. So, in essence, you got fired, but you took the time to be able to say, look, what can we do? What, what, help me build my business. Help me make my business better. Would you tell me why? And is there anything I can do to correct the problem? If you ask those questions, some of them are going to say no. Now, there may be some of these people that are leaving that you may want them to go. Right? At which point, maybe send them a thank you card, you know, <laughs> or send them off to uh, send them off to a competitor. But at the same time, if you want them back, then it's a matter of what can you do? You know, what did we do that made you want to make the change? Because it doesn't happen overnight. These, uh, when someone changes a trusted advisor position, there's something. It's been going on for a while. The concerns are there. They don't make these decisions quickly. Because it's a pain in the butt bringing on a new accountant for the business owner. So if they're leaving, they've had this problem for a while. If you do some of the other things that we've talked about, you'll probably know about them in advance. So doing exit interviews with clients can be pretty powerful. Questions. So, on the worksheet that you started, what are you currently doing to deliver high levels of customer service and how are you measuring it? Number six. And number seven, what are two new things that you would like to implement so that your customer service level is improved? Okay, I, uh, we're going to spend a little time talking about customer care. This is that portion of the business which should educate and add value to your clients so that you're continuing to build that trusted advisor status. The principle is to keep clients for life. If your clients are satisfied, what does that mean? What does it mean? They will stay. So you've met their expectations. Anybody else? Now, what about being delighted? When's the last time any of you were delighted with service that you got? Anybody ever been delighted? So what was your, tell us about that. The client, uh, actually the client passed away. Mm -hmm. The client ended up taking the business. Mm -hmm. The business just went down the street. Mm -hmm. uh, of course they were behind on getting their payroll tax. 